Hello, and welcome to the Guy, Sharon, and Clint podcast. Shh, there's a moth in here, and it looks extremely angry. Thanks for holding. You have Ash and Luke online. Luke and Ashton, it's Guy Williams here from New Zealand. Kia ora. Hi, how you doing? Hey. Not too bad. Thank you so much for talking to me. No, oh, it's fine. No Any... problem at all. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> um, you've just gone number one in the US. Congratulations. You finally beat Frozen. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Frozen, Frozen Part 2 almost came out. Frozen <laughs> Part 2 nearly, yeah. It was, um, it was actually, they, Frozen was still number two. It's just, it's going strong. <laughs> so you worried yeah. there's going to be a sequel Frozen album that's going to knock you guys off number one again? I'm worried they're just going to keep coming out with things, just random <laughs> random soundtracks. I love you guys that are, are in a beef with Frozen. <laughs> you got a beef with the talking snow man. He just <laughs> got beef. Beef with Disney. So, Ashton, the other day you tweeted that every single day Luke makes a School of Rock quote without fail. Yep. Is that getting well, annoying? Means, Is that getting on your head? And Luke, can you give us a School of Rock uh, quote to kick off the interview? No, man, it's not getting annoying. It's probably definitely one of my favourite movies. Love a bit of Jack Black. And uh, <laughs> that, that movie sort of, I've always wanted to go to a school like that. I'm 20 years old now, so I won't be going back to school anytime soon. <laughs> but uh, School of Rock was, it was the bollocks for me. I loved it. <laughs> Luke, can you give us a quote? I usually do it with, like, someone will say something and it'll just, like, tickle my memory. That's a cool thing. It's usually in context. You can find one for every 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 situation. Oh, I've got no context. Well, hey, hey, if if, if an opportunity arises, make sure you bust one out during the interview. <laughs> I will. will do. You will. I asked your fans on Twitter, give me some questions to ask you guys, and basically all they came up with was to tell you guys that you're hot. So um, I'd just like to tell you right now that you're hot. Oh. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I guess. The, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. The other thing they wanted was they wanted to um, get you to follow them on Twitter. Um, why do fans always want you to follow them on Twitter? I don't understand. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet. I don't, why, why do you like? That's a true. That's a good question. I, I guess it means, I don't know. It just means a lot to them, I think. You know, it's a hard thing to explain. So where, where are you guys right now? Where in the world are you? We are in a uh, we're in an office in MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't make it too glamorous, eh? You're in an office in a stadium in New Jersey. Congratulations, you guys are on tour. The first fan question from Cashton's hoodie is: What's the weirdest thing you've done on tour? I don't know. I don't even know. We've been on tour for two and a half years, and lots has happened. <laughs> lots has happened. Probably just nudity, running around, being <laughs> stupid. Probably. What a stupidity. Yep. That's about it, to be honest. I saw Michael and Luke uh, kiss the other day. That was pretty full on. That's pretty gross. Did we? You guys kissed? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, but... I saw, I saw, <laughs> a, I saw a video on YouTube. Yeah. Someone kissed someone. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was a, it was a purple-haired girl. I don't know. <laughs> Who even knows? <laughs> One of your early names for a, a band was Bromance, I heard. Yeah, that was just me and Callum. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, me and Callum... <laughs> Uh, sort of name, and um, I think that was kind of a joke, but it kind of wasn't at the same time. You've settled with the name um, Five Seconds of Summer. I personally, I prefer the name Bromance. <laughs> you know what? I do too. <laughs> We're going to change it. We're going to go back to Bromance. <laughs> my, my problem though is that Five Seconds of Summer, you don't have like a good name for your fans. No. Oh. Oh, no. I don't know. We didn't really follow the trend, though. I felt like everyone was doing that, and it was, it was kind of getting a bit bit lame, and we just sort of <laughs> let them do whatever they like. But Because they're calling themselves the Five Sauce Fam. Now, that is a terrible... That, that sounds like a cult or something. Oh, well, I don't know. It is, you know. It is a cult. It is a cult. <laughs> <laughs> I've come up with some better names. Some better names. So you guys can just let me know what you think about these for your fan club. You can call them the Five Saucians. Yep, that'll, I guess... The fi- I mean, five sauceinators. Yeah. No. The sausage kids. Uh, no, that's that's the worst one. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the the little cabbages. Where does that come from? I don't know where they come the from. The big sausage fan club. That's not too bad. <laughs> we'll go with big <laughs> sausage fan club. You like that one? Yeah, that's the best one so far. <laughs> And what are you saying so far? Is that like the cream of the crap? Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit like that. Is this the worst interview you've ever done? No, this is not the, at all. This is one of the best, to be honest. This with is you. one of the best ones, that's for sure. <laughs> you guys are full of shit. Oh, oh come no. on, now. No, I'm serious. We're serious. What can we What can we do to make it up to you? <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. You can sing your your hit song, American Apparel. Is that what it's called? What's it called? You look so perfect. 
We need to make it more New Zealand specific, all right? Because in New Zealand, we can't get... Where are you guys getting American apparel from in Australia? What about what about New Zealand apparel? Does that make does that make the sort of thing? New Zealand no, apparel. Zealand. New Zealand apparel is pretty good. New Zealand apparel underwear. Or we have a shop in, oh. in New Zealand like Target called Farmers. And I was thinking more like Farmers Bend On underwear. It'd be m- much more New Zealand specific. You look, see, how do you do a New Zealand accent? I can't do one. <laughs> Give it a try. <laughs> we need Callum here. Callum's not here. He does a great New Zealand accent because he's from kind of New Zealand. So. Could you sing the hook? Could you sing, She looks so perfect standing there in her farmer's band on underwear. She looks so perfect standing there in my farmer's band on underwear. <laughs> that was good. Underwear. Not lower than usual, but underwear. That was, can I just say that that was the worst rendition of that song I've ever heard? <laughs> That's how I do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what your tour in New Zealand's going to be like, then I am going to be bloody gutted about your shit because that is appalling. It's going to be that every time, so <laughs> that's every song right there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So more terrible fan questions. What is your – honestly, actually quite a good one. This is from Priscilla at Yellow Banana. What's your all-time favourite song? Jesus of Suburbia. Good Green choice. Day. I'm going to say – Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. The little sausage fans will be so stoked that you guys love Queen. Ah, good. Everyone loves a bit of Queen. Another question from the text machine. Living on the road and being in a rock group where you're, like, super popular with the ladies, is it hard to develop, like, normal relationships with people? Oh, definitely. What do you think? Uh, It depends. You just have to really make an effort to go out of out of the bubble and just meet people outside of your comfort zone. I think that's the only thing. But yeah, yeah it's definitely hard because it's just, basically it's hard to get out of your hotel room. So, um, <laughs> yeah. hard to explain. If you did want to meet someone outside of your hotel room, I'm guessing that would be quite easy. Um, <laughs> no, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another question from the old text machine. What's your um, stance on the Israel-Palestine conflict? I haven't seen a TV, a newspaper, anything in days. <laughs> that is a loaded question. You do not have to answer that. You can only get in trouble. So do not pick a side, I would say. I would say just you want peace. Completely neutral on it. <laughs> Here's an important question. What is the best thing, and you probably get this all the time, but I'm going to ask it anyway. What is the best thing about being in Five Sauce? Getting to just, um, you know, I, I worked in a video shop before this, so not having to work in the video shop is a, is a plus. <laughs> Um, what video yeah, shop did you work in? I worked in Video Easy. <laughs> I got a question about Video Easy. Is it awkward when like people, like dirty old men, come in renting adult films? Is that a tense situation? Did you have that? No. Yeah, you offer them the, uh, well, you offer them the package deal. You can only get three for five or seven for ten. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seven times. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bloody good call, sorry, guys, was- Ashton. What was your what was your weird job you were doing before you moved on to uh, Five Sauce? That was my job. I, I was talking. Then. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Luke, Luke, Luke. What was your weird job? Um, I didn't really have a proper job. I worked for my dad, and he's like a pool man, so he like fixes and checks pools. The pool god, <laughs> pool god. <laughs> and that's um, that's pretty much the only job I had. Oh, this because well, start, we started we started the band when I was like fifteen, so. Dang! Yeah. Stop bragging about it. So you yeah. guys are you guys are coming to New Zealand. You're coming to Auckland for your first ever New Zealand tour. We're not going to call it a tour. You're coming to Auckland. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're coming. We, we've been there. We've been on. Actually, we've been on tour there. Four. Four. It'll be our fifth time there. Ugh, um, my my research has let me down a little bit there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, it'll be really good, and we're really, we're really excited to come back. It's going to be awesome. I am terrible about this. I'm sorry. Do you have any sim- semi-favorable comments about New Zealand before I let you go? Um, I'm in love with. Um, I know we're not going there, but I, I actually went on my first ever. I used to do hiking and stuff before the band, and I, I hiked uh, through like Milford Sound and stuff. In wow. Um, and that was the coolest, one of the coolest experiences of my life. So I, wow. I really love New Zealand. It's a place. This genuine, this is the first, most, normally people just talk about bungee jumping off the Harbour Bridge, which is a token thing. This is the first genuine answer I've ever had. That's awesome. <laughs> no worries, man. I, I, love, I love that you used to do hiking as well. Like, did you give up on your hiking days now that you're in a bit? No more time for hiking, mate. No, there's no, no time for just, <laughs> just walking about on a mountain anymore. There's no time. What's, big question, what's the difference between hiking and walking? Like, because sometimes you're just, like, walking around New Jersey. Does that count as a hike if you get a bit of speed up? 
think hiking is with intent. Hiking's pretty extreme. I mean, I used to go hiking for like two weeks, a month at a time, and you'd have like a 25 kilo backpack and you'd live out of that for a few weeks, you know, so that type of thing. I don't think walk around New Jersey, New Jersey counts. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as Milford sound anyway. Well, we're so looking forward to having you guys here in New Zealand. Any words of wisdom or shout-outs to your fans for the um, the sausage kids here in New Zealand? Um, just thanks for uh, thanks for sticking around for us and not uh, yeah. not getting sick of it. We can't um, wait to go to New Zealand. And words of wisdom: don't eat too many carrots or you'll turn orange. <laughs> <laughs> hey, five sauce, you guys yeah. have been so lovely, Lucian, Luke, and Ashton. Thank you so much. I bloody appreciate it. Thanks, dude. See you later. Thank you. <laughs> Today's Guy, Sharon, and Clint podcast is brought to you by Grass. Perfect for gardens and sport. Get Grass today from your friendly Grass vendor.